friends, Sherry here. Welcome into my channel. Thanks for joining me today. If you're new, welcome. And if you are returning, as always, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a real quick uh, thrift store haul that I did this morning for some crafting and um, junk journal making supplies. So if you want to see what I found, stay tuned and we'll get started. All right, guys, I got some fun stuff here. Look, Maxie, we got fun stuff. I'm going to start with the small stuff. Oops, sorry, guys. I should have been a little bit more uh, organized here. So I'm going to start with some of the small stuff I found. Um, and my total was $48.50, I think, was my total. So I found this. It's just a lace insert for a shirt, but I got it for a dollar. I got this cute little stencil for $0.50. Cents. Uh, some seam lace stretchy seam tape I don't know what I paid for that um, I found these copper little doodads not even really sure what they're for but I figured we could find a use for them I don't know that it will necessarily be on a junk journal but aren't they neat? They're just like little carabiners, but they're copper. So I thought those were cute. Those were $3 for this little bag. Make sure you're in frame here. Um, and then I got these little things. They say they're tassel, tassel cap with a chain. So I have no idea what that is or what you use it for, but Maybe we'll figure it out. But see now, look, you can put put these together. I don't know. I'm not quite sure, but we'll figure something to do with these, figure out something. So I think I paid, I paid $2 for those. No, I guess. Although it says 30 cents on that package, but that's for one. So maybe that wasn't the best deal in the world, but we'll see. Sewology, so it's something. I got this little piece of something for two dollars, so I figured that would be handy handy in a junk journal. Um, oh yes, this. I, let me show you that with another thing I got. Just another little bit of denim, and why did I get the denim? I'll show you. Okay, I got the denim. Um, what do you call this? I always forget what it's called. Uh, seam tape. Uh, because I thought it'd be fun to do a denim journal sometime. And there was this, so I got that for a dollar. Little iron on heart, that'll make a cute little pocket on a page. Got that for a dollar. And this is a little bit, it's not the junkiest thrift store, so it's probably not the cheapest. But I like it because it's very well organized. They have all the sewing stuff together. It's not one big mess that you have to rifle through. So they do take a lot of care into really organizing everything. So they've got the best, I think, sewing and those types of supplies, crafting supplies. Um, that's just a little bit of paper. It says a placard, place cards, 10 place cards, but I figured that would go in a junk journal. This is just a, it's a heart, but it says it's an ornament. Place setting, holiday, I don't know, magnet, something. But I just thought the hearts were cute. Plus, there's like a little plastic heart in there, which you can also you can always use. Looks like maybe there might be two of them, like for a template. If you were wanting to make a heart and you didn't have one available for 25 cents, um, set those off to the side as well. I got this basket, which is super cute. It ha doesn't have a solid bottom on it, but I think I'm gonna put something on it and use it to keep some of my scraps in on my desk because I am i don't have enough storage. I got it for $5, so that's not bad. I thought that was a cool little basket. I got some material and I'll show you what I got. I found this material. So I found this material and I thought that might be good for a boho journal 
because it's kind of shimmery and shiny. It's not real, real bright. There wasn't a ton of options and material there for that. And I think the same thing with this one. It's kind of a, looks like a cotton that's been tie-dyed, but that would be really good on a boho journal. And then I found for, what did I pay for this? I don't even know what I paid. Probably 25 cents. This I thought was really neat for a boho journal. For whatever you want to use it for on the cover, on the pages. But I thought that was very boho-ish. And so that was in this package. And it's just got a couple other little, some polka dots, a little bit of lace, just kind of a little collection. It'll just go up in my basket of trims and laces and things like that. But so that was a good find. And then I want to do a couple of, oops, dropped one, a couple of Christmas journals this year. And I didn't really have, I don't think I had in my stash much Christmas material left. So I just got some little samples. I thought this was pretty. It's got the gold and the maroon, golds and stars for $1.25. So that will be cute on a, on a Christmas journal. Same with this. It's got little Santa, very Christmassy. That'll make a cute journal. As will this. It's kind of shimmery with the poinsettias. So I thought that would make a really pretty uh, journal cover as well. And then I've been wanting to do a, I'll leave that for next. And this I thought would be pretty if I decided to do another fall journal. It's very fall-ish. And I didn't want to go crazy on the material. I paid $2 for this, so I think that's not too bad. And I've been wanting to do, let me just kind of shove these things over here. You'll probably still see them in the corner, but at least they'll be a little bit out of the way. I've been wanting to do a sewing journal. A sewing junk journal, I should say. And so I do have some material that has sewing machines and things like that on it. So I, But I found this as well. And I just thought for 75 cents, this was really cute. And I just picked up a couple random old patterns for 75 cents each, just mainly so that I could take and use the tissue paper or whatever paper's in it just for incorporating into the journal. So for 75 cents, I thought I'd get a lot of mileage out of two of these old patterns. And then I got some, oh, let me show you. This I thought was a really cool find. Now it was for $8. It's called Stretch Lace. But you guys, I saw this and I couldn't resist. Look at this. This is a lot of lace. It is stretchy. I don't know where it ends, where it begins. And it's so old. Camino. I doesn't even say a name on it or a color, but it's a real pretty, oh, navy green. And it is a stretchy lace, but for $8, that is a lot of lace. So I thought that was a really neat find for junk journals really neat. So that was a good score. Put that in my little basket. I also found this basket, which I thought was really cute. It's kind of different. I have baskets all over my house and I use them for everything. This might be a little bit big for my craft room, but I think I can utilize the smaller one I showed you for scraps. But I thought it was a little bit different. Looks like somebody probably had glued some stuff in there. Or maybe there was some decor. But I got this for $6. Not the cheapest basket I've ever gotten at a yard sale. But I'll definitely use it. And then I got a couple of books. So this I just got for book pages. All I'm going to use. I have another book. But that's I've been using that kind of for punching. When I do my signatures. But that one is more... Oh. I can't remember what that one was. Okay, yeah, so this is just book pages and then I use it for punching, but I grabbed another book, they're 50 cents for the, for the paperbacks. So I got another book just for book pages. It's not brand new looking, but it's not old looking either. So it's okay, it'll work for my book pages. 
and then I found, and they had more, but this was all I got, um, some music paper. And this is all piano, but it doesn't really matter. I just wanted to get some, I haven't had any uh, music paper for my journals. So for 50 cents, I got that. Thought that was pretty cool. I don't play the piano, but I'll, and I like the size of it too. I was just watching a video the other day um, and they were making something on paper that was this size. I think it was some pockets because it was bigger paper like this. So I might see if I can find the video and give one a try. So I got that and then for my sewing journals and not even just for sewing, you could utilize this, I think in anything, I got this big old Reader's Digest. What is the copyright on this? 1976, um, hardback, complete guide to sewing. So I thought this would be really fun to tear pages out and put into a sewing journal. And I don't know, um, I'm fairly new to trying to sell my junk journals here locally, but we do have a lot of um, quilters in our area. Our quilter uh, population is very high. So I could also sort of for focus on kind of a quilting junk journal as well, but I think I'll make a sewing one first. But I just thought this would be so much fun. There's so many pages in this you could tear out and use to make pockets or images or papers for anybody that likes to sew. Or even if you sew and you, you know, you want to just keep track of projects in a sewing journal, this would be a fun thing to have. So anyway, that was my, and I got this for a dollar. So that was my haul today. All of that for $48.50. So I'm pretty excited to get started with it. I got to get some organization going here and um, yeah, I'll see you guys back on my next video. Thanks for watching. Take good care of yourselves. Take care of everybody else. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. Be kind to pets and animals. And just know that I love you guys and I appreciate every time you watch one of my videos and for supporting the channel. And if you find this content interesting or helpful in any way, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already so that you don't miss my next upload. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.